Did you know I love breakfast? I absolutely adore it, any time, day or night. We're gonna have some great recipes that we're making today, and we're gonna bake most of them. We have a simple, easy, no-fail quiche that's gonna just, mm, tickle your taste buds. Then we're gonna do some fabulous bran muffins. Mm, really good. Got a little raisin in there. And then orange tea biscuits, ooh la la. Absolutely delicious. Then we're gonna have a couple of little drinks that'll add just a little life and a little kick to your breakfast menu. I think we're gonna have a great time. It's all gonna be delicious and we're gonna do most of it in the oven. When you're in the kitchen, you know it really helps to have something a little light and refreshing to sip on while you're cooking. You know, here's the, do you remember these? <laughs> Hardly anybody has an ice tray anymore, but I just kind of took my juice, filled it up, put it in the fridge overnight, and I have beautiful, juicy, wonderful ice cubes to put in my drink. And what I love about that is it doesn't dilute the taste of your drink. I've got a little, in the fridge already. Oops, hello. Let's put in a little juice. Well, I am having trouble with this top. <laughs> kind of everywhere. It's excited to be here, that's all I can say. Now, this is a little pomegranate mix in here. And then to kind of even lighten it up a little bit more and just a little sparkle, I've got some club soda. Hello. You love the party, I can tell. <laughs> and we'll wipe all that up in a minute. But just a little fizz, gentle stir, mmm-hmm. I love that. And something quick, mmm. I love the little pop of the club soda in there. You can taste the orange juice and that pomegranate. And again, because you made your ice cubes, or your fruit cubes rather, from the juice, you're not gonna have a diluted, watered-down drink. It's really refreshing, it's great. Now I have my sipping while I bake drink, and at the end, we're gonna finish our wonderful baked breakfast with a really special cocktail. I think you're gonna really love it. We made our refreshing fruit cocktail. Ooh, juicy, Lucy, absolutely delicious. Now we're gonna start baking our two-for-one quiche. The recipe, actually all the ingredients fill two fabulous deep dish nine-inch pies. So you can get them already made, and it's gonna be delicious. All right, first thing I wanna do is we're gonna add a stick of butter to our pan. And eight ounces of button mushrooms, really fresh. The way you can tell that your mushrooms are really fresh is the cap is completely closed. They're a beautiful white color, but that cap is completely closed. That way you know it's fresh. I love this recipe. I've always loved quiche. I always wanted to be able to, I loved eating it for, for sure. And then I just wasn't ever sure that I could make it until Beverly gave me this fabulous recipe. And it really is easy. I love the fact that it makes two, one for you, one for maybe your, your daughter or your mom, maybe a neighbor. They're great to share. And if you're having a brunch or something, oh gosh, it is a great dish to have. Now one half of a, not a medium, medium large white onion. You wanna get a really nice fine chop on this. And then we're just gonna get a nice kind of little chop going here. But the white onion, to me, is a little bit milder flavor. I might be crazy, but I think it is a little bit milder than the, than the yellow. And this is going in with delicate cheeses and mushrooms and some eggs. We're gonna let these get 
in our pan with our mushrooms and our butter and let our onions get translucent. So I'm off to the stove on medium and we're gonna give it a good stir and we'll come back and start assembling. All right, now let's start. We have about a pound of bacon that we're gonna split between the two shells here. And we're gonna start crunching this up in the bottom of our pie pan. And just give it, if you wanna chop it, you can. I just kinda of like to use my hands and make sure everything crunches up really good. I like all the little bitty, bitty pieces in it because I like that flavor to go all over the place. Oops. Just kind of smushing around. <laughs> and bacon just smells so good. Oh gosh. But baking it in the oven, I think, gives it a really nice, crisp, kind of crisper. And it doesn't seem to shrink as much. I don't know why that is, but it just doesn't seem to shrink as much. Now, I'm going to rinse my hands just for a second. Now, I've got some beautiful Roma tomatoes. We've washed them and we're just going to cut the end off and do some slices. And you can make them thin just because we want to top our bacon. And I go all the way and we'll just kind of place this over the top of bacon. Come here, buddy. Now, we've got a cup and a half of Swiss. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put half in one pie and half in the other. Kinda sprinkle that all on top. And oh gosh, this just is a beautiful, beautiful dish. I love it. All right, that's all of our Swiss. And in our bowl, we're gonna whip six eggs. We're gonna give them a good whisk. Okay. Oh man, that looks great. Get that whisk going and really get them mixed up well. Now, I've got a cup of heavy cream. And get a good mix. Mm, get all, come on out, buddy. over. Now, I bet our vegetables are done. Veggies are perfect. Now, we want to make sure that we use everything in the pan, all the Juicy Lucy. Ooh, delicious. So again, we're going to come in here with the veggies. mushrooms and onion and a little bit of that wonderful butter. Now, I want to give a good whisk to this. And we're going to make sure that we kind of go in as equally as possible. Little for you. Little for you. Great. Okay, now, crowning glory, we've got two cups of mozzarella shredded. Mmm, split evenly between. There we go. Now, we're gonna be popping these in the oven about 30 minutes, 375. We want our crust to be golden brown. And we want a knife to come out clean. So about 30 minutes, 375, we're ready to bake these quiches.
as part of our baked breakfast. Ooh, can't wait. We're gonna make some bran muffins. And we're starting with something as wonderful as just your regular old bran cereal. Big old fat flakes, got some raisins in there. I think I'll have one. Mmm, mmm, that is so good. I'm gonna add about a quarter cup more of some raisins. Now, I've got a teaspoon of salt. I've got three teaspoons of baking soda. Okay, pop that in there. Cup and a half of sugar. All right. And then I have two and a half cups of flour. And this is just a regular all-purpose flour and we want to make sure that we get a good old mix on this. Let's kind of get a good mix on everything. Now, let's go ahead and do our wet ingredients. Two eggs. And we're gonna really get these going with our whisk. Now, I've got two cups of buttermilk. Kind of nice and thickening up. Two good cups, mm, yum. And I have a half a cup of canola oil, okay? Just a half a cup. We'll give this a good mix and get everything. I want to make sure it's all incorporated with that oil in there. Here we go. We're going to go into our dry, about half of it or so, and get that mixed around. And come up from the bottom really pretty good. All right, here we go. So let's get the rest in here. Mmm, and smell that buttermilk. That is gonna be delish, All right? And like I said, I wanna really make sure I come up from the bottom. When I originally started going through the files, the name of this muffin mix was Six Weeks <laughs> Brand Muffin. So I asked a friend of mine, I said, what do you think that means? And she said, I think it means that the mixture can stay in the fridge for six weeks. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Not a good idea. <laughs> Not, I don't, uh-uh. That looks wonderful. All right. Now, we're using a mini muffin pan. And I am gonna go ahead, even though I've got a coated, coated pan, I'm gonna do a little bit in here. Kinda ensure a little non-stick so they'll pop out easily. That looks pretty good. Try not to overfill. <laughs> now, since we are using a mini muffin pan, we're gonna cut our baking time roughly in half. But this is crunchy with those flakes of the cereal. Ooh, just delicious. But this just looks delicious. Mm. Yes, I'll have some, thank you. <laughs> All right, we're in a mini muffin pan, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut my cook time almost in half. We're really gonna watch them with your sugar content. You certainly don't want them to burn. So we're gonna go into a 400 degree oven about 10 minutes or so. Really watch them. Well, the next part of our baked breakfast is gonna be orange biscuits. Ooh, this is just, this is a really neat way to dress up something that's so simple and easy. This is just the standard all-purpose baking mix that you use for biscuits and pancakes and all kinds of stuff. And adding about two cups there, and we've got two-thirds of a, a cup of milk. That's our standard mixture according to the box directions. Now, what I'm gonna do with this, and this is where we start to come in and dress up before I even start to mix, I am gonna zest two oranges. Ooh, this is just absolutely delicious. And so now when you zest, you really wanna make sure you get just the bright orange. You wanna make sure it's washed and dried and not your, your pith on it, not the white part. But it's just, oh, this is, this is really, really fun. And if Big Daddy likes this, I think you'll like it too. <laughs> he loved them. And he's the one, actually, who said, go ahead and put another orange in there. Put the zest of two oranges. He really just loved it. And this is so fresh and 
just smells delicious, and I want to make sure that I get every little bit of it off. <clears throat> all right, and see all that that's left? I want to make sure that we get every single bit of that zest. All right, now, let's take our spoon, and now we will mix up, and that smells divine. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is take just a little bit, not a half even, just make sure we don't have any seeds and give just a little squeeze of the juice in there. Just a little bit. Kind of adds to the, mm, and it is, there you go. Just a little bit. We're gonna put a little bit of this mixture out here on our board. And we're going to knead this a few times, just kind of make sure it all gets together and really it's going to blend that uh, zest in there. Let's roll it out. Just a little bit. Mmm, that is smelling some kind of good. Now here we go. See how sweet that is. I've got about a tablespoon or so of softened butter, and I'm gonna add a little sugar to it, just plain old sugar, maybe a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half, something like that. Just gonna mix this around, and I've got a little spreader. I'm gonna put a little dab on each one of these of this mixture. And I've got some pecans over here, and as I go through the, the little rows of them, we're gonna make sure that we have a little butter and sugar on top of each one, top it with a pecan. I don't want my pecan sliding off. <laughs> okay, one more pretty one. Oh, smells good, looks gorgeous, gonna be fun. You can even kind of press it in there just a little bit. Boom, 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 boom. All right, we're going to a 450 oven. For roughly 10 minutes, you really want to watch these because they are so tiny, they're going to cook quickly. So you want a nice brown color to them, but not overcooked. So here we go. almost through with baked breakfast. It's up, the kitchen smells wonderful. We just have one more thing to do, and that's to make a cocktail. Oh, and a little fruit in there is gonna hurt. I've got some sparkling wine, and I found at one of the local stores here in town a beautiful, beautiful new liqueur that's based with, made with elderberry. And it's light and fruity and very refreshing, and we're gonna put a little in this, kind of a little twist on the Bellini in a way. Now, I'm gonna twist the bottle, <laughs> not pop the cork so badly, but just gently twist it where it just, there we go. All right, ooh, nice and cold. And then I want just a little bit of this. When I first sampled this, I thought, gosh, wouldn't it be great with a little champagne? We said it'd be great with chocolate. And just a little drizzle in there, just a little bit, kind of give it some extra flavor. And for color and to add to all that fruitiness, I've got a few blueberries in here. I'm gonna pop them in the bottom. Ooh, look at that. Mmm, delicious. And then I thought we'd come in and just garnish with a beautiful strawberry on the side. And so here's to you and here's to baked breakfast. Oh, that is so good and refreshing. Good. 
good. You made it in time. Ah, look, both <laughs> these for me? Uh, they can be if you'd like that. <laughs> <laughs> now, what we got here? All right, I made quiche. Ooh. And it's got mushrooms in it, two right. types of cheese. It's got some bacon. I know a lot of mushrooms. I know. I know I love everything else. <laughs> I think I think you'll really like this. Oh, and tomatoes in it, tomatoes. Okay. No, I like a tomato. I know you love a tomato. I'm trying to get this um, out of here. What, honey? I asked if uh, onions. If those pearl pots with the foam on top down there, one of those. <laughs> yes, dear. You may have one. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. But thanks for being my tester. Mm hmm Okay. Oh, uh, you I capture me it. with All the right. pearl pot and everything. <laughs> Let me get a bite. Mm -hmm. I like it that the mushrooms are so fresh. Mmm. Mmm. That's, that's mm. That is really good. A big hit there. Mm hmm. Oh, well. Mm. Mm. Just got a big bite of bacon. I love it. I might that. let you do that again tomorrow if I eat all this stuff tonight. <laughs> Today, I'm You got it, baby. You got it. <laughs>